There are some villages so unusual that the sun never sets. Time seems to stand still, or there are no roads, no car fumes. Visiting them feels like stepping into a magical fairy tale, and much more. In this video, I'll take you on a journey to explore the 20 most unusual villages you should visit at least once in your life, to experience dreamlike moments and find the magic in real life. But before we start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any exciting adventures and discover more amazing places. Number 20 on our list is Brondby Havby. Brondby Havby, a suburb of Copenhagen, is a special place where the uniqueness is felt from the first visit. This village isn't just a place to live, it's a work of art where humanity and nature beautifully intertwine. From above, Brondby Havby looks like a vibrant painting with perfectly arranged green circles. A photographer once described these circles as resembling a giant pizza, with each slice representing a house, creating a unique and impressive landscape. You can clearly see the magical connection between the plots of land, as if nature had drawn delicate lines to create a beautiful maze. Each circle is a separate space where residents can freely cultivate and care for their gardens. The paths radiate from the center like sun rays, not only connecting the houses, but also fostering a sense of closeness and warmth among the residents. This connection isn't just physical, but also spiritual, where everyone shares the joys, challenges, and peace of daily life. Number 19. Rain, Norway. Rainy, a small village nestled between rugged mountains and the turquoise waters of the Lofoten Islands, is not only an ideal destination, but also a natural wonder you can't miss. The red wooden houses scattered against the wild landscape create a picture of nature that's both simple and majestic, leaving everyone awestruck by the pristine beauty of this place. But what truly makes Rain one of the most unusual villages you should visit is the Aurora Borealis, Northern Lights. When winter arrives and the night sky over rain becomes still, a spectacular light show begins. Bands of green and purple light dance across the sky, drawing soft and mystical curves, turning the small village into a fairy tale scene where the boundary between reality and fantasy seems to dissolve. Rain isn't just impressive in winter. When summer arrives, from late May to mid-July, the village once again amazes visitors with the midnight sun phenomenon. During this time, the sun never sets, bathing rain in a gentle light that lasts day and night, creating a mystical space that can only be found in remote places like this. Number 18. Furor, Italy. Furore, a small village hidden among the steep cliffs of the Amalfi Coast, is a captivating and unusual destination that few know about. Furore is dubbed the village that doesn't exist, as the houses are scattered along the cliffs, almost invisible to passers-by. Later, to ensure Furore would not be forgotten, the residents decided to paint their houses in vibrant colors, creating a natural picture that's both majestic and poetic. Beyond its unique location and layout, Furore is also famous for the stone bridge spanning a deep gorge where an annual international diving competition takes place. This gorge, with its emerald green water flowing below, is not only an impressive sight, but also a highlight that attracts visitors to Furore. Number 17. Zermatt, Switzerland. Zermatt, nestled at the foot of the Alps, stands out not only for its majestic natural scenery, but also for its unique and charming characteristics. The traditional wooden houses with steep roofs and small windows, built between the 16th and 18th centuries, are still preserved in their original state, bringing a cozy and classic atmosphere. To protect the environment and keep the air clean, the village has no major roads, and internal combustion engine vehicles are banned. Here, you can only get around by electric cars, horse-drawn carriages, or simply by walking through the picturesque streets. Additionally, Zermatt is one of the few places in the world where you can ski year-round, thanks to the height of the Alps and the presence of perpetual snow. With a ski resort on the Matterhorn Glacier, visitors can experience the thrill of skiing on white snow even in summer, something few other places can offer. Number 16. Burano Italy. 
Burano, a small village that stands out with its colorful houses along winding canals, is a feast for the eyes. Each house is painted a different color, following a strict rule from the 16th century. The local government must approve the paint color for each house to ensure the village's overall harmony. But what makes Burano truly unique isn't just the sophisticated color scheme. Some of the houses are actually leaning. Due to the weak foundation, the houses have gradually leaned over time, creating a scene that's both quirky and enchanting. This leaning aspect is further accentuated by the leaning bell tower of San Martino Church, which many compare to the leaning tower of Pisa. However, what makes Burano unique is the blend of leaning architecture and bright colors, creating a magical setting that is hard to find anywhere else. Number 15. Hallstatt, Austria. Hallstatt, a small village on the shores of Lake Hallstetter Sea, is a place where natural beauty and ancient history blend perfectly. Known as one of the oldest villages in Europe, Hallstatt bears the marks of over 7,000 years of history from the early days of the salt civilization. The wealth from salt mining turned Hallstatt into an important economic center, and the remains of ancient salt mines are still present, reminding of a prosperous era long gone. The natural highlight of Hallstatt is Lake Hallstetter Sea, a crystal clear lake reflecting the image of the surrounding majestic mountains. This scenery makes one feel as if they are lost in a perfect landscape painting where nature and humanity together create a peaceful and beautiful atmosphere. Here, there is also the Beinhaus, or Bone House, housing over 1,200 skulls, intricately decorated and marked by time. This tradition arose from the scarcity of burial land, and displaying these skulls became a way to remember ancestors, creating a mysterious and fascinating space that evokes deep reflections on life and death. Number 14. Paro Takchang, Bhutan. Paro Takchang, also known as the Tiger's Nest Monastery, clings to a cliff 10,236 feet high, or about 320 meters, overlooking the Paro Valley. Built in the 17th century, this monastery is not only a sacred religious symbol of Bhutan, but also stands out with its majestic and mysterious scenery. The architecture of Paro Takzang is an engineering marvel, with small temples and walkways built along the steep cliffs. The monastery is a striking symbol of Bhutanese Buddhist culture, where monks live in isolation, in peace, and reverence for nature. The Buddhist culture here clearly reflects the harmony between humans and nature and the search for spirituality in a sacred space. The journey to Parotak Song is a rewarding challenge. When conquering the steep and difficult trail, you are rewarded with panoramic views of the Paro Valley from above and a sense of elevation when you reach the monastery. Number 13. Popeye Village, Malta Popeye Village, located in Malta, is where reality and imagination blend perfectly. Initially built as a film set for a movie, this village has since outgrown its original role to become a popular tourist destination, where people can experience stepping into the world of cartoons. With unique wooden architecture and vibrant cartoonish styles, Popeye Village truly gives you the feeling of living in a cartoon world where everything is filled with colors and joy. Every house in Popeye Village is entirely built of wood with detailed decorations in a cartoonish style. The colorful houses, from Popeye's small house to the shops and restaurants, are all designed to recreate the movie world faithfully. This isn't just a place to look at, but also a place where you can step in and feel like you have become part of the story you love. Number 12. Rocamadour, France Rocamadour is one of the most unique villages in France, perched on a cliff about 394 feet, or about 120 meters, high, seeming to be carved directly out of limestone. From a distance, Rocamadour appears like an ancient fortress, perched between the sky and earth, creating a scene that is both impressive and mysterious. Not only does it stand out for its architectural beauty, but Rocamadour is also a famous pilgrimage site dating back to the Middle Ages. For centuries, millions of pilgrims have come here to visit the sanctuary of the Black Madonna, Notre Dame de Rocamadour, 
where a black wooden statue of the Virgin Mary is placed. To reach the main shrine in Rokamadur, pilgrims must climb 216 stone steps of the Grand Escalier, Great Staircase. Many pilgrims in the past climbed these steps on their knees, showing deep respect and profound faith. One of the most peculiar and attractive features of Rock Amador is the crypt of Saint Amador, believed to have lived as a hermit here. This crypt, located in a small chapel, is thought to contain miraculous healing powers, drawing many people to pray and seek peace. Number 11. Alberobello, Italy. Alberobello, a small village in southern Italy, leaves a strong impression on visitors with its truly houses. Featuring conical roofs, built entirely of limestone without mortar, the stones are stacked precisely, creating stability without the need for binding material. Even more remarkable, these truly houses were built without foundations. Despite this, they are very durable thanks to the tight stone stacking technique and their ability to withstand natural elements. Legend has it that this technique was employed by the people of Alberobello to avoid paying high taxes during the feudal era. When officials came to inspect, they could quickly dismantle the house and reassemble it afterward. A smart and flexible solution in a historically challenging context. Not only in architecture, but the roofs of these truly houses are also decorated with mystical and religious symbols painted in white lime. These symbols, ranging from crosses and stars to moons, all carry deep spiritual significance, protecting and bringing luck to the residents. Number 10. Shirakawa Go, Japan. Shirakawa Go, a village nestled among the snow covered mountains of Japan, is famous for its unique gashozukuri houses. The roofs are designed steeply, resembling hands in prayer, to allow snow to slide off easily and avoid accumulating too heavily. Each house typically has three to four floors, all built entirely of wood, creating a cozy and traditional space. When you step inside these houses, you will feel the rustic and simple lifestyle of the locals, where every architectural detail carries deep cultural and spiritual meaning. In spring and fall, nature here is vibrant with cherry blossoms and red maple leaves. In winter, the entire village is blanketed in white snow, appearing like a fairyland where time seems to stand still. Number 9. Oymyakon, Russia Oymyakon, deep in the icy region of Siberia. Russia is one of the most unusual and harshest villages on the planet. Here, the cold isn't just a challenge, but an integral part of daily life. With an average temperature of minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about minus 50 degrees Celsius, some years have recorded temperatures as low as minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit, or about minus 70 degrees Celsius. The harshness of the weather here has created a life full of challenges. Outdoor activities become extremely difficult. Water in pipes easily freezes, making access to clean water complicated. Travel is also a dangerous challenge when roads are covered in thick ice and snow, which can cause accidents at any moment. Even simple tasks like going to the bathroom outdoors require thorough preparation to avoid freezing midway. The houses in Oymyakon are specially designed with thick insulation, using wood and other warming materials to withstand the extreme cold. These houses not only keep residents warm, but also create a cozy living space amid the vast icy expanse. Number 8. Miyama, Japan Miyama, a small village hidden in the mountains of Kyoto Prefecture, Japan, is one of the rare places that still retains its traditional beauty and tranquility. The village is home to 5,000-year-old thatched roof houses, called Kaya Buki. Unlike other villages, Miyama has not been swept up by the modern lifestyle. The thick thatched roofs, built to withstand harsh weather, especially the heavy snowfalls in winter, create a spectacular scene when the entire village is covered in white. This gives Miyama a peaceful yet peculiar beauty, like stepping into a fairy tale. The residents here still maintain traditional farming activities, and visitors can easily encounter vast rice fields, particularly stunning in autumn, with golden leaves and a rare, serene atmosphere. 
Number 7. Chef Chawen, Morocco Chef Chawen, the blue village of Morocco, is a strange and enchanting destination. Nestled among the Rif Mountains, Chef Chawen stands out with its characteristic blue color covering the streets, houses, and even the stairs. Every corner of the village seems to be painted from a picture. The soft blue creates a strangely mesmerizing and peaceful space. This uniformity has turned Chef Chawen into a unique and unforgettable destination, making anyone who sets foot here feel like they are in another world where everything is filled with dreamy and poetic beauty. The architecture of Chef Chawen is a delicate combination of traditional Berber style and Andalusian influence. The narrow, winding streets, like blue mazes, lead you through houses with rounded domes and small windows, all covered in bright blue. This blue not only has aesthetic value, but also reflects the religious and cultural beliefs of the people here. Traditionally, blue is believed to ward off mosquitoes and bring a cool feeling during Morocco's hot summer. Stepping into Chef Chouen, you will immediately be captivated by the relaxed atmosphere where every small detail exudes harmony and peace. Number 6. Matmata, Tunisia Matmata, located in the Tunisian desert, is a unique village where the inhabitants live in underground dwellings, an unusual yet extremely effective architecture to avoid the harsh desert heat. These houses are dug deep into the ground, according to the traditional Berber architecture, not only spacious and cool, but also offering a comfortable living space amidst the arid environment. The architecture of Matmata is particularly impressive with deep earth shelters and rooms connected by underground corridors. Natural light filters in only through small openings, keeping the temperature cool inside. This offers a stark contrast to the scorching heat outside. Each underground shelter here is a work of architecture deeply imbued with Berber culture, demonstrating the ingenuity and creativity in adapting to harsh living conditions. Number 5. Cooper Pedy, Australia Cooper Pedy, located in the arid desert of Australia, is one of the most unusual and unique villages in the world, where everything is built underground. This village is famous for its title as the Opal Capital of the World, thanks to possessing the largest opal mines on the planet. With surface temperatures that can reach 122 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 50 degrees Celsius, the residents of Cooper Pedy have invented a unique way of living underground, where they build homes, churches, and even hotels and shelters to avoid the harsh heat. Underground shelters are a hallmark of Cooper Pedy, where the residents have cleverly turned these underground constructions into comfortable and safe living spaces. These underground homes are not only cool, but also offer a sense of tranquility and separation from the harsh desert environment outside. Even public buildings like churches and museums are built underground, creating a network of unique underground constructions unmatched anywhere else in the world. Number 4. Hamnoi, Norway Hamnoi is a small village located on the Lofoten Islands, famous for its stunning and unique scenery. The village is situated between tall granite mountains and the Blue Sea, making it an ideal place for those who love nature and want to experience something new. When you arrive in Hamnoi, the first thing that impresses you is the majestic and peaceful scenery. The traditional red wooden houses, called Rorbu, are right next to the water. Built in the 19th century, they were initially homes for fishermen during the cod fishing season. Today, many Rorbu have been converted into guest accommodations, offering a close-to-nature experience. Hamnoi is also one of the best places to view the northern lights. In winter, the night sky is lit up by green, purple, and pink ribbons of light. In summer, from late May to mid-July, Hamnoi experiences the midnight sun phenomenon, when the sun doesn't set completely and daylight lasts 24 hours. Number 3. Monsanto, Portugal Monsanto, a small village in central Portugal, stands out with its unique architecture on the granite mountainside. Dubbed the Village of Stones, Monsanto attracts attention with houses built between giant boulders. 
where large rocks become an inseparable part of the house structure. The red tiled roofs, solid stone walls, and rustic details reflect traditional Portuguese style, but it's the creativity in utilizing natural stones that makes Monsanto different. Many houses seem to be squeezed between two large rocks, with huge stones jutting out from the roof or walls, creating a magnificent scene. Narrow, winding paths lead visitors through the massive boulders, leaving them in awe of the ingenuity of the ancient builders. One of the most prominent structures is Torre de Lucano, a 12th century tower symbolizing Monsanto's resilience. The narrow and steep stone paths guide visitors through houses, churches, and small squares, all surrounded by imposing rocks creating a mysterious and peaceful feeling. Number 2. Setenil de las Bodegas, Spain Setenil de las Bodegas, a small village in southern Spain, is truly unique in how its houses and buildings are constructed right beneath and around massive rock overhangs. Here, the large rocks aren't just foundations, they serve as natural roofs for many homes, creating a landscape so unique that it makes Setenil de las Bodegas a must-visit destination. The houses in Setenil de las Bodegas, with their white walls and red-tiled roofs, stand out sharply against the natural color of the rocks, creating a highly impressive scene. The skill in building houses right under the giant rocks not only maximizes space, but also creates a cool living environment, especially during the scorching summer days in southern Spain. This is where nature and architecture combine perfectly, offering a vivid and different experience. And finally, the most unusual village is Geithorn, Netherlands. Geithorn, a small village in the Netherlands, is famous for its unique landscape where there are no roads but only waterways for boats or wooden bridges to get around. Nicknamed the Venice of the Netherlands, Geithorn is a symbol of tranquility and romance, where the winding canals gently surround the old wooden houses, creating a scene straight out of a fairy tale. Geithorn's architecture is distinctly traditional Dutch, with steep-roofed houses built in the 18th and 19th centuries. The houses are situated along the canals, surrounded by lush green gardens with vibrant flowers, creating a lively and enchanting natural picture. The harmony between classic architecture and beautiful nature has made Geithorn a strange destination that everyone should visit. Do you know of any stranger villages? Leave a comment to let me and others know. And please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more exciting journeys. Thank you for watching, goodbye, and see you again.